So there are a lot of weird colours you have been warned. It may not be good for people with epilepsy or stuff. So now we're going to kick in and start using the AI. I wake up, I'm in my room, I'm going about doing my business, I'm in Pallet Town which looks pretty good. I go pick my starter Pokemon Charmander. So my rival wants a battle and I do the best I can to make some cool images. I go to Viridian Forest, skip past the game because you mostly know what happens. I arrive in Pewter City and I figure, hey, let's just go fight Brock. Right. So honestly, I lose my Rattata and I lose another Pokemon right now. But overall, Mankey can clean up and win the battle. Hey, look at Onyx. Great Pokemon for Shadow Wing. Okay, Brock goes down, I get my first badge, I get the running shoes now, and then I just start catching more Pokemon. I catch a Spearow, which is probably going to stay with me until the end of the game, and I go later and purchase myself a nice magic card. I've got to say, the AI does really well in some cases, and really So I feed my magic carp steroids and evolve it into a Gyarados which carries me through Cerulean City completely. I've got to say the watercolour looks really nice in this and it fits the theme well. So we face off against Misty and honestly Gyarados and Bite just come from the start to just win this entire game for me. Oh, look at Starfish, quite nice. Misty goes down and then I have to go to the bridge now, beat some trainers, help Bill turn back into a human for some reason, which I thought AI would be cool at doing that, but I guess not, I did the wrong prompt. I get to Vermilion City, which is nice, I go to a boat, I fight my rival again, Gyarados sweeps up, and then I go and catch myself a Diglett and a Drowsy, and the Drowsy looks pretty cool in this AI tool. So then we start the rival battle against the Surge, and he leads off with an electric mouse, and honestly, I've got myself a Diglett, which is just OP at this game. But this gym is like almost impossible to lose with magnitude. So that's one more gym battle done. We then run through Rock Tunnel into a very spooky, scary little city. I beat my rival one more time, and then I go and head to Celadon City. I decide to try and catch myself a Growlithe on the grass, which is a good fire doggo. And then I end up in Celadon City. So I spend some money. I go and get myself an Eevee, have some fun there, I stock up. Now the Eevee, bit wrong Pokemon, wrong leg, but okay. I know Pokemon Challenger says you should keep Eevee in the pocket until you need to evolve it, but I like Jolteon, so I evolve it into my, my good Thunder Boy. And then I go gamble in the casino and go fight some people behind a poster, which takes a long time, but then I head to the gym. Now this is where the run went to hell to me. Being careless, I lost my Gyarados to this annoying execute. We play Erica now and then we have a pretty good team. I've got the Flamethrower TM, I port it to I think Thunder Dog, Fire Dog and we just sweep through her grass like fire in a pot. Great. So far I'm having fun with this AI tool and then I go catch myself a slope a uh, Snorlax with the Poke Flute, which is going to carry me for the rest of the game. Yeah, I think that image be cool. I go down the bike lane to Future City, and you know, this is actually a pretty good image. I wish it was a bit more targeted, but yeah. We arrive at Future City, which looks pretty cool. I decide, let me go to the Safari Zone and catch a Pokemon. I get myself a Nidoran, which is the only Pokemon to survive this Nuzlocke, because I am a very bad player. I am a very careless player. We fight Koga and he summons out Muck, which is very toxic. And this is London now, which is toxic. Parliament is toxic, so get the joke, get the joke. And he just shoots for his team. Yeah. Next, we arrive at um, Saffron City, and the cyberpunk theme looks really, really cool. Okay, we have to go through the long rocket hideout in Silco again, but. I get a Lapras at the end, so you know, that is progress. I then head to the gym and fight Sabrina, who looks pretty cool. Second best fighter in the game. She uses her Alakazam, but 
it doesn't take three damage to me. It's basically a glass cannon at this point. Yeah, didn't work hard enough, you're right. Team's trash. Okay, we head to Cinnabar Island now. We get some fossils. I don't really use them. Well, I use them if I lose to them. Uh, we fight Blaine with the fire Pokemon. And uh, I just sweep with a Surf. I think I'm using Tentacruel right now. It's just not even a challenge. That's a good dog. Okay, we go to Giovanni now. And again, we can just spam water moves because that's been working out pretty well for me. And yeah, I get the Earthquake TM and we fight my rival. And this is where things start to go a bit pear shaped. At this point, my rival's team is actually really, really strong. And Alakazam knocks down like three of my Pokemon. I think Tentacruel goes, I think Dojo goes, and one more goes. So I am in trouble now. So I head to the Elite Four of my team Electrode, Snorlax, Lapras, Charizard, Fearow, Nidoking. First rival, Lorelei, who has killed so many of my other runs in games before. And I would say she's the best wife in the game, definitely. Um, I don't know why she's sitting on Lapras, but okay. So her ice team is pretty dangerous, but with a good set of pivots and switches, I seem to make do pretty well. And uh, I like this image, it's pretty cool now, yeah. So she loses. Yeah. Then we head on to Bruno and I have my full team still. Uh, it's looking good in the battle, but um, yeah, we'll see. I've got to say, it's just me being careless where I lose a lot of battles. So Hitmonchan takes down my Fero, but my other team can just kind of, through pivots, pick it up. So I've lost Fero, I'm down to five Pokemon, and we go fight Agatha now. But I'm feeling pretty good about this because I can just buy TMs, which I have Shadow Ball for, and uh, I kind of just spam Shadow Ball throughout the entire game, and it seems to work. I've got to say, in the first generation of Pokemon, we had a good crew of characters, you know, they were interesting, and yeah. So Gengar is the Pokemon I chose to kind of AI uh, upscale, and I think it did look pretty cool, so... You know, got the right theme. I beat Agatha, no losses. I'm like, okay, I've got five Pokemon in business. My Avenger team is looking pretty good. Sorry, Fero, you couldn't be there, but it is what it is. So I fight Lance now, and he is a problem for me. Him and his non dragon team somehow, with a hyper beam, managed to kill Snorlax. And then I'm like, oh, this is not good. I've got four Pokemon against a rival fight who's actually pretty good. Needle King, Lapras, Charizard, Electrode. So, oof. let's see how this goes. I kept the footage in upscaled because I think the battle's a bit more interesting like this. And I can see now that you didn't have the uh, moves, but I'm using Surf basically a lot and Ice Beam. Um, I get through the oof, I almost get through the first Pokemon and Lapras gets put to sleep, which puts me in a bad spot. But I've made him use his hyper uh, potion. Charizard cleans up the execute, which is good, but uh, his blast force is a problem. He lands a hydro pump, which kills my electrode, and I am worried now. This is bad. I bring in Lapras to tank some of his moves, and luckily, he just keeps going for hydro pump, which is pretty good. I know he's only got five, so if he can waste all of them, then I know. I can probably switch into another Pokemon. I risk it now and go for Needle King for the Skull Bash and hope it works out. And I, it does. He uses another Hyper Potion or Full Restore, so I've taken him down. At this point, Charizard um, Blastoise has no water moves, well, one left, but I just baited him into a switch. And I am in set mode, by the way. So I can pivot into Charizard now. And. I'm lucky I managed to win this battle with Charizard because if he had a water move left, it was game over. So, yes. Gotta say, Nuzlocke's are harder than they look when you're not playing carefully. So, Charizard is sweeping up for me right now. He brings in the Pidgeot and uses another full restore. And I can really just fly. I think I should have surfed instead. That's fine. I switch into Needle King and Needle King, I use another surf. I mean, Surf has carried me this entire game. 
We use an Earthquake Alakazam. We use an Earthquake. We use a Surf for Arcanine. And it is looking dangerous, but I managed to win on 52 HP with one Pokemon left. Oh my god, do I suck. Oak arrives and lets my rival know he is just, he, he isn't that guy. Um, we put my team in the Hall of Fame and then we...